Elizabeth Street, Little Italy Hangs with his pals, yeah, that's where he'll be It's Vinny, a friend of mine Stand-up guy from the Lower East Side Take it from me, he's one of a kind It's Vinny, Velotime Who's better than you? Welcome to Tell It Like It Is Tonight we have Valeria with us. Hello. Again. She was with us last week. And um, we have a great show today. You know, but before I start off the show, you know, I want to emphasize um, something that I spoke about last week. And, and I don't want to get into it too long because I'm sure that you people must know what I'm talking about. You know, if they ever found a cure for cancer, do you know what this you know what would happen in this country? Wall Street would like fall apart. Doctors, all all the doctors today, they all, they ought to be cancer doctors. Clinics, pharmaceutical companies, uh, surgical supply companies. Um, oh God, you know it's everybody's jumping on that bandwagon. And you want to know something? There's a cure. Because if they ever did find a cure, man, it'd be hell. It really would. And, um, but someday, you know what I, you know what I believe? This is my gut. Now, I could be wrong. I believe that when somebody finds a cure, they go to their superiors and say, hey, look, I found a cure. So you know what they do? They tell him, listen, we're going to give you $50 million disappear off the face of the earth if you ever say anything to anybody about this. You're a dead man. And then they say mafia. The mafia is in Washington. It's not in, it's not in New York. It's in, Maf it's in uh, Washington. And I believe that there is a cure, but they just won't let people know about it. And um, I don't know. I, I just, I don't believe anything that the government says, you know, and I, um, I believe what Valeria says to me. <laughs> <laughs> don't mind me, I'm sorry. But anyway, um, how are you doing, Valeria? Very good. I'm very happy to be here. Are you? Yes, of course. <laughs> it's always good to see you. Always good to see you, too. <laughs> and to be here. <laughs> uh, it's a pleasure. I get goosebumps every time she's around. Last week, I spilled the water. Um, but that's another story. <laughs> okay, but anyway, tonight we have a hell of a show. That is right. And, uh, yeah. And uh, now this girl, I had her on my show quite a while ago. Mm -hmm. And um, she's French. She's beautiful. That she is has true. a great voice. And um, I get all excited too when I when I hear her sing. You know, <laughs> I don't want to tell you how excited I get, but I get very excited when she sings. And um, she lives in my neighborhood. That's great. You know, and, um, and I, uh, you know, she's been just a hard girl to get a hold of. And um, I, ever since the last time she was on the show, I tried to get a hold of her for like a year. Mm. Uh, she's like somebody else I know. She doesn't, like if you call her, she'll return your phone call a month later. And then by the time she called you, you forget what the hell you called her for. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. She's a good girl. Uh, I love her. She's a friend. You have to give her a nice hand. And uh, her name is Florena. There you go. There you go. Hi, right. Vinny. Hello, baby. <laughs> I was in Paris. Say what? I was in Paris. She was? She was in, in Paris. Paris. You were in then, Paris? Yes. Is that why I couldn't get a hold of you for a year? Probably. Uh, we won't get into it. And we'll then there's a, one of the cure for cancer is, is probably traveling. When you do things that you love, it changes your perspective of the world, and then you become happier, right? So I encourage everyone to go travel to Paris, because it's a beautiful city. Well, one of these days, I'm going to be there again. And uh, when I hit the uh, lotto, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to dye my hair blonde, <laughs> and I'm going to wear a beret. I'm going to grow a wax mustache. And you'll become French. The, on the beach, the south of France, and every time somebody goes by me, 
I'm going to say, Merci beaucoup. Merci oui, oui, beaucoup. papa. Yeah. I will sing a song. And uh, I'll have Valeria next to me. Oh, well, that sounds <laughs> lovely. Again. I don't know. Her mother and father will kill me, but that's okay. I'm going to sing a song uh, called Sous le ciel de Paris. It's actually a, a love song between the city of Paris and the sky. So Please. it's Sous le ciel de Paris. Sous le ciel de Paris s'envole une chanson. Ah, ah, ah. Elle est née d'aujourd'hui dans le cœur d'un garçon. Oh, sous le ciel de Paris marchent les amoureux. Padam. Leur bonheur se construit sur un air fait pour eux. Sous le pont de Bercy, un philosophe assis, deux musiciens, quelques badauds, puis des gens par milliers. Sous le ciel de Paris, jusqu'au soir vont chanter. Padam, l'hymne d'un peuple épris de sa vieille cité. Should we spice it up? Oh, I fell in love. Mm, I was a fool. For Paris can be so beautifully cool. Paris is just. A gay coquette who wants to love and then forget. Stranger, beware, there's love in the air. Love becomes king the moment it's spring under Paris skies. Watch what you do, the same thing will happen to you. Just look and see what happened to see on the Paris skies. Watch what you do, the same thing will happen to you. Mais le ciel de Paris a son secret pour lui. Depuis vingt siècles, il était pris de notre île Saint-Louis. Quand elle lui sourit, il met sans la Bible, oh oui. Quand il pleut sur Paris, c'est qu'il est malheureux. Mais le ciel de Paris n'est pas longtemps cruel. Ça non, pour se faire pardonner, il offre un arc-en-ciel. Il offre un arc-en-ciel, un arc-en-ciel. Voilà. <laughs> Merci. Uh, I'm surprised there was no music behind that one. Well, it's because I, I prefer to sing with a, an orchestra, but they, the guys are expensive, so I just take two little balls. <laughs> was there any noise coming out of that? There was. There was. It's a maracas, so you can do many May things. May I see one? You can, well, they go in two. You cannot have just one. You oh, I just want to. <laughs> oh, yeah, there is. There is. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, it's it, you know, it's, uh, sometimes I like to lead with the band, with the percussion. Because um, it's, I like to be in charge of the rhythm. I like I play with great improvisers, but some, you know, then it, it gives more flexibility. You see, like in the beginning, I was in a valse, one, two, three, two, two, three, and then I pick up, picked up with something a little bit more exotic. <laughs> I have a question for you. Wait. Now you said that during the year that I was trying to get a hold of you, you were in France. I traveled, yes. Was there a reason why you were back there for a year? Were you like working or is it a, f or was it a family thing or should I not get into it? Should well, you were saying, you were talking about cancer and I thought this is a little harsh. So I, I thought it was nice to say that I was in Paris. I traveled a number of times. Some, uh, I went to uh, the Cannes Film Festival and then my brother had a daughter. So I went to visit my little niece. 
So different things, you know, I try to be more, um, more mobile. You know, in the beginning that I, I studied in New York, so I was here and it was hard to take vacation because people who live in New York, uh, I don't know, they, like I would go to vacation only to go visit my family, not other places. So now, you know, I, I just... So you kept your apartment all that time? Of course, yeah. In the neighborhood while you were gone? Yeah. Sh sure, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't gone for... I, I just go, see, you know, usually like a month at a time. It depends. Uh, well, very nice, very nice. <laughs> so I'm doing a Are show... Are you back to stay now for a while? I've, I've been here, Vinny. <laughs> oh, I know you've yes. been here. But I mean, so are you going to stay now? I've been living in New York for 15 years. I love it. So it, I think it's the place for me. Yeah. Yes. So would you like, are you going to come to my show at 54 Below? I, listen to me. I promise you I am going to come to your show. You know, it's just that, you know, right now, I'm, I, I mean, I've been really busy. And right now I'm, in the, I'm involved with the Tribeca Film Festival. That's perfect. And I have um, a film that's being shown there Great. on April 14th. Is it the one that you showed me the poster of? Yeah. Great, so I and know about it. And it's called Mulberry. Not Mulberry Street, Mulberry. Just Mulberry, yes. And um, I'm the associated producer on that also, also in it. And um, so it's going to be shown four nights, but the first night is the uh, red carpet night. And they're asking me to, if I would go to all of them. I'd just go to the one. And I don't want to... Well, that's the thing. It's like life gets pretty busy when you're a creative person. So. Yeah, well, so I'm always busy. Yeah. And it's not that one of these days I'm going to surprise you. And when I do, I'm going to sit right in the no, front but, seat. Vinny, I so came to your show to sing a song, so I thought you wanted to talk about it. So I was just trying to be slick at I wanna, saying I wanna talk that about I have your a show, show coming up. Let's talk about your <laughs> I wasn't show. putting you on the spot. Okay. I just wanted to say that I had a show called April in Paris that is at 54 Below, so it's a very fancy establishment. They just merge with Feinstein, so it's uh, you know a Broadway supper club. And usually I would do the shows at Joe's Pub or the Public Theater before when I did the show on Edith Piaf. So for me, it's a new room. I haven't you know done that room before. And um, also we're giving the proceeds to the performance to a charity organization uh, that uh, supports the um, uh, survivors of terrorism. So it's, it's a new endeavor for me because usually I wasn't really um, pursuing endeavors like that, so it's, uh, it's interesting. It's called Strength to Strength. And so people who have been victims of attacks worldwide, they bring them together so they can talk about you know, how things were for them. So I thought it's an important thing. Uh, since when you is know, your next show now that you're doing? Um, it's on uh, April 22nd. April 22nd, okay. Yes, it's in, it's in a couple of weeks. And um, so it's a new program. You know, it's songs about Paris. Before I had a program about Edith Piaf, and then I had a program with, with a lot of love songs. So this is a sort of an ode to Paris and the sp spirits of the French, you know. Um, one of these days I'm going to surprise you. And one day I don't want to sit right in the front row seat. And I'm going to cover my face until you get out there. And then when you do, I'm going to go like this. That sounds like a very <laughs> comfortable thing. <laughs> and is it going to be the only show that you'll be doing in Below 54? Yes, or? it's a one time, mm -hmm. it's a Friday night at 9.30. So, you know, sometimes you do endeavors that are more, like it's more like a run or sometimes mm -hmm. you do a, um, like a monthly um, commitment. So mm -hmm. for now, this is, this is what I'm committed to do. Sounds great. Yeah, it's fun. I actually, I was debating because, you know, French music is very, uh, like accordion is, is great for French music, but yeah. I decided to have a percussionist, mm -hmm. a bass player, and a piano. So it's a little bit more edgy mm -hmm. um, than, s you know, s some of the things you think of when you think of French music. Mm -hmm. Now, from what I understand, you also have a poem. Yes, I wanted that, to bring some uh, poetry. <laughs> that you're gonna that you're gonna read off. I think so. Well, um, I wanted to introduce a friend of mine who is also an actress, and uh, everyone always loves when I speak French, right? They say you have to read the phone book. As mm -hmm. long as it's French, it's pretty. So I wanted to play with that because uh, we have two poems that we're going to read, um, and uh, we'll discuss it after, right? Together, sure. it'll be fun. Sure. Okay. <laughs> so okay. this is Ilin Katuvene. There you go. You're very nice. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. I'll come with you. Come with me. Yes. 
Spirit prezvăzător, Yves cel naiv, în noaptea când ai vrut să pleci, aveai picioarele atât de reci, te-am implorat să stai până în zor, doar nu o să mor, nu? Nu o să mori. Tu m-ai mințit cu glasul pisicesc și în ale tale brațe mai lăsat să țipesc. Apoi, discret, având ca martor numai luna, ai dat să pleci, probabil pentru totdeauna. Noroc că eu, ca un adevărat și îndrăgostit bărbat, prevăzător, îți aruncasem hainele în cadă la înmuiat. Ok? Um, light. Le loup et l'agneau. Should I come like this? Yes. La raison du plus fort est toujours la meilleure. Nous l'allons montrer tout à l'heure. Un loup survint à Jean, qui cherchait aventure et que la faim en ces lieux attirait. Qui te rend si hardi de troubler mon breuvage, reprit cet animal plein de rage. Tu seras châtié de ta témérité. Sire, répond l'agneau, que votre majesté ne se mette pas en colère, mais plutôt qu'elle considère que je me vais désaltérant dans le courant plus de vingt pas en dessous d'elle, et que par conséquent, en aucune façon je ne puis troubler sa boisson. « Tu la troubles, » reprit cette bête cruelle, « et je sais que de moi tu m'es dit l'an passé. »« Comment l'aurais-je fait si je n'étais pas né ?» reprit l'agneau. « Je tête encore ma mère. »« Si ce n'est toi, c'est donc ton frère. »« Je n'en ai point. »« C'est donc l'un des tiens, car ne vous ne m'épargnez guère, vous, vos bergers et vos chiens. »« On me l'a dit, il faut que je me venge. » Là-dessus, le loup l'emporte et puis le mange sans autre forme de procès. All right. Ooh. All right. Uh, Richard, where's that other chair? Do you want to sit? Oh, thank you. Yes, and I'll please. get the chair for us. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice it was beautiful. Hey. It was beautiful. Hi. Nice to see you thank again. Thank you for having me. How are you? My pleasure. Richard. Uh, oh, there it is. I am back. I knew we oh, had it somewhere. <laughs> okay. So uh, now. You're also an actress. Yes, I am. Yeah, okay. And I was not speaking French. And? I was not speaking French. You were not speaking French. <laughs> I thought, you know, languages are lovely, and so sometimes in America we don't honor. We are from Germany? I'm from Germany, yeah. I was born in Russia, but I grew up in Germany. Oh, lovely. You see, I mean, I think there is such diversity. And uh, and sometimes, like, when she's... You know, one time I heard her speak on the phone with her mm -hmm. father, and I thought, oh, this is such a beautiful language. Mm -hmm. So I thought, you know, I mean, people have heard speaking French before, but it's just, you know, a flavor of the multicultural New yeah, York mm -hmm. that we're true. in. Yeah. That's true. Right up my alley, one speaking French, one speaking German. <laughs> a blonde Do you know something? Who's, be who's better than me? <laughs> yeah, and it's so fascinating, even though you don't understand the language, but to oh, I, I don't have women, to understand it. it's fascinating. You can listen for hours. But you speak hours. Italian, right? And I speak Italian, yeah. Yeah, Romanian and Italian are... Say what? Of, Romanian and Italian are a lot alike. Romanian? Yeah. Wow. Romanian, French, German, and Italian. Wow. We have a... Yes, multicultural. Boy, it's the United like Nations. Like to go camping with all, <laughs> yes. with all three of you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say no more. I said camping. You know? um, wow. This is right so, up my alley over here. But this is beautiful. And uh, when you speak French, I love it. Thank you. And uh, I've heard you speak German. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have to get you to say a few things in Romanian. I just did. Yes, the poetry well, that I could she... hear it from over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, Vinny likes I'm it sure so much, I'll... he wants to hear more. <laughs> uh, when, when I watch the tape, I'll... Uh, I'll cool. say it, you know. <laughs> so now, are you performing anywhere um, that we should know about? Uh, currently not. I have a callback that I'm looking forward to, so if that works out. <laughs> she you just have a callback for what, a play? Yes. Very good. She just did a production of Three Sisters I went to see, because she has a production company. Uh, it was at the Four Street Theater at the beginning of February, so that was great. So. Um, and then we're working on... Um, a reading of a Proust play together because they have a Romanian princess and a French maid, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see what happens with that. It's called Interludes of the Heart. Wow, that's really good. Yes. So as long as you guys are 
So you're keeping yourself busy then? Well, I think so. I mean, I thought it was interesting to bring her to your show because it's always, uh, you know, I mean, she came and she lived, you know, she was my roommate on Mulberry Street. Well, I'm happy that you brought her to the show. Of course. And so that, the thing is, you know, it's a very nice, you know, in New York, what I find um, interesting is that people are always open-minded and people are ambitious. They come here for a certain goal that they have. And so there's a lot of collaborations that happen that are easier than, you know, other cities in the world, I think because people, uh, they want to make something happen and, you know, they exchange ideas and people are open-minded. It's really exciting. Well, it's really nice. Mm. So uh, now you have a, a callback for a play. Yes, I do. And you're already doing one. Sure. I mean, we are all doing a, a, a number of things, right? Mm. I and mean, for uh, me, it's like my life is split between the acting and the singing and then I do a lot of voiceover work. Now, now you've... Mm. I, have you done movies or just plays? I did a film with Jonathan Price and um, uh, Jason Schwartzman. Uh, it was a, it was interesting because actually I auditioned for one of the leads, and then they took a, someone who was a little bit more named than me. And but then they threw me in the cast, so I was the role of a woman. And then I got to the set, and I was a divorcee woman, and I was like, oh well, I have more wrinkles. Like, what what is happening? And so it was funny because the other woman who was playing with me, I mean, we had a blast. You know, it was, it was like it was the date of Jonathan Price. So the woman who was with me, we were improvising, and so it was it was exciting, you know, because um, everything was happening on, on the set. She said that her name was Flo, which is my name. So then in the credits, we got exchanged. So I was Flo, and so they called me Brandy, and she was Brandy, and they called her Flo. So that was a <laughs> cute Do thing. Do I pronounce your name right? When I, when so my name is Flo Anka, but for music, my stage name is Flo Ann. So I do pronounce it right then. You say it with such a love and exotism <laughs> that I cannot resist it, Vinny. <laughs> I just love her name. Florene. Florene, yes. Florene. You know, I'm, the, I'm just going to make a short, a long story short. Yes. I'm also, I'm writing a play right now. Okay. And I've already got a little over 40 pages. It's a comedy. Okay. And I got about another 10 or 15 more pages to go. And uh, it's wonderful. It's, everybody thinks that their play or whatever they write is the best. This one is very, very <laughs> I'm funny. excited that you're writing. Actually, uh, what I did uh, since the beginning of the year, every two weeks, I have a, a mini like writing group at my house. And it, I think it's so important to be infused in collaboration. And like because I have the writing group, Every time, I'm not a writer, but I have to improve the little piece that I have, and then we read each other's work so that whomever wrote something can hear, um, you know, different actors read it. So it's very stimulating. You know, it's important to keep creating because sometimes it comes from the outside. You know, not to, not to change the story, but we, we, <laughs> we were in a cafe, and you were talk, telling me you wanted to do something with me. No. It doesn't, no, that doesn't sound right. Uh, I, say, said I said that, that I would write to, to uh, write something, like yes. Some sort of like an interview or something like that. I was going to say, No, not an interview. It doesn't think, sound right. I, I think I w if I, I, I would write a scene with you in it, you know, I'll, I'll let you know when it's ready. I didn't start writing, but I've had you in the back of my mind, you know, I think because I know you pretty well over the years, and you're always portrayed in a way that's similar. So I think I, I, I know a little bit of the cracks of you. You know, like you're, you're, you're rough, but you're also a good boy, right? <laughs> no, I mean, I think I can get an interesting scene out of you. So, so uh, you know, when I write it, I'll let you know. you let me know, okay. Yes. Okay. We and phone tag, so I'm sure you'll, you know, you'll make me wait a little bit. <laughs> that's fine. I'm fully totally prepared for that. <laughs> oh, that's so I'm just, it's just so nice to know that we're all doing something yeah. and we're busy and and Valeria is always busy with her work. She does modeling and uh, you're an actress too and yes. a few other, um, yeah. It takes time actress. to have a network and to yes. have a community of friends that's supportive. So in the beginning, what's important is to do all kinds of things. Like when she first moved to New York, I was telling her, well, you know, you could get, you know, get involved mm -hmm. as, as many things as, <laughs> yeah, she's my baby, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, but I'm a fan of what mm -hmm. she does. She's really like, uh, you know, um, hardworking mm -hmm. and passionate. And so that's the thing. Then you do, you get involved with as much stuff as, as you can. And then the more people recommend you and mm -hmm. then you get to do better work with better people and it becomes Absolutely. more interesting. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. what's amazing about New York. Everything is worth it. Like you mm -hmm. work, you work, you work. But what I've noticed is that it comes together slowly. Yeah. It really does. I have so many people sometimes, they stop me on the street and say, 
hey, what was the best, best movie you ever did? What was the best work you ever did? And when I get the check, I realize that they say, what was the best movie? This is the check. I said, this was the best movie. <laughs> this, was, this was the best one I ever did. That's a right good here. point. <laughs> I know. You know, it's so funny because sometimes, sometimes also I do like uh, looping on, on for, so I did the Woody Allen film, the Israel Horowitz film, uh, Jim Jarmusch. I did voices because they needed foreign voices. And then one time I'm at home and I'm like, oh my God, the check, a residual check for the entire amount of the session. And I was like, it was free money. It was wonderful. <laughs> Jim John is very good. Jim John is awesome. Big fan. Wonderful. Matter yeah. of fact, before I came to the studio tonight, I was on the phone with him coming here in car service. All right, cool. And, uh, yeah, I I'm love his work. Trying yeah. to get him to come to the Tribeca Film Festival on April 14th. Yeah. And he's another one when you call him, he'll return your call. Good. And by the time he returns your call, you forget where the other is going. But that's another, that's an, I'm getting used to that now. But you know what so I now love? I write it down. Yeah, you write it down. So write it for me. But uh, what I love about him is that he has such integrity, you know, with his film and with his music. And because yeah. he was able to get uh, foreign money to fund his films, it's mm -hmm. like you can really f see a development over the years of his work. Sometimes, you know, then you, s you sell out and you're like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to do this big movie. And, but his is never, he never did that. He has a terrible haircut. Also. Now, when, <laughs> when, when you're having a good time, time goes fast. Yeah. And this is the end of this show. So I'd like to say, I'll see Florina, you in a few. <laughs> once again, Florina. I get goosebumps nice. when I say your name. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank, Thank you, you so for much. Having me. And uh, Valeria, she always does a w wonderful job. You know? <laughs> Thank you. And, uh, Thank you. Thank you. Is there any music to the show? And also in the audience we have um, Scotty. The producer. All right. All right. Thank you. Hey, yeah. Uh, all right. Elizabeth Street, little Italy. Hangs with his pals, yeah, that's where he'll be. It's Vinny, a friend of mine. Take it from me, he's one of a kind. It's Vinny Velotime. Who's better than 